let's investigate another factor which affects resistance, the thickness of the resistor. To do this, we're going to build the same circuit that we did for the previous investigation. We're going to have a battery connected in series to a bulb, some nichrome wire and an ammeter. Let's quickly just rebuild the circuit. We screw the bulb into the bulb holder. We clip the battery into the battery clip. We connect the positive end of the battery clip to one side of the bulb holder and we secure this on the circuit board. We secure the negative wire of the battery clip also to the circuit board. We connect crocodile clips so that we can easily connect the ammeter on the negative side and the nichrome wire on the positive side. So we have a gap now in the circuit and into that gap we're going to place our nichrome wire. What nichrome wire are we going to use in this particular investigation? We're going to use a single thickness 9 centimeter nichrome wire for our thin resistor and a double thickness 9 centimeter nichrome wire for our thick resistor. So when we actually collect the data, we're going to complete the circuit by making these connections across each of the wires. But before we do that, you need to predict which bulb is going to shine brighter, which ammeter is going to give a higher reading with a single nichrome wire or with a double nichrome wire? And why do you say so? Also, what will that tell us about the resistance of the circuits? Which of these two resistors will be more resistant? Also, what is our focus question? To help us with this, answer this question. The variable we change directly between the two treatments, between the two circuits, is, is it resistor type, resistor length, or resistor thickness? And that is our independent variable. Resistor thickness is our independent variable because these two differ in thickness. We make them to differ in thickness from the start. And then the variable which is different between the two treatments because of the resistor thickness being different is resistance. So which variable is this? It's the outcome variable. What's the term for the outcome variable? Resistance is the dependent variable in this investigation. Remember that resistance means how difficult it is for electric current to flow. Its symbol is R and its unit is ohms. Resistors have resistance. So what is our focus question? Put the independent variable on this line and the dependent variable on that line. How does resistor thickness affect resistance? We are going to describe resistor thickness as being either single or double. But we are not actually going to measure resistance directly in its unit ohms. Rather, we are going to use two indicators to tell us about resistance. What are the two indicators that we're going to use? Look at the circuits. What do we have in the circuits and why have we got them there? We have a bulb and we have an ammeter in each circuit and the reason for that is that we are going to use bulb brightness and current strength to tell us about what we're really interested in which is resistance. How are we going to make use of these two? If we see that one circuit has a brighter bulb than the other, what will that tell us about that circuit's resistance? If we see that one circuit has a higher current strength than the other, what will that tell us about that circuit's resistance? Complete these two gaps. A brighter bulb or a higher current strength will show us that that circuit has a lower resistance than the other circuit. Remember that resistance means how difficult it is for electric current to flow. We can liken an electric circuit to a water circuit. Here we have two partial water circuits. The pictures are only showing part of the water circuits. And the part that is shown shows a narrow pipe in between two wide pipes in each case. But for the second case, that narrow pipe is narrower than the first case. In both cases, the water must flow from right to left and there's a pump applying pressure pushing the water from right to left. In which case is it more difficult for the water to flow? Where the pipe is thinner, it's more difficult for the water to flow. How does that correspond to resistance? Which of these two has a greater resistance? This one is more difficult, so it is more resistant. This situation is easier, it offers less resistance. In which case will the water flow quicker? 
the water flows quicker where there is less resistance. Just as in electric circuits, there's a higher current strength where there's a lower resistance. And that's why a brighter bulb or a higher current strength, both of them show us that that circuit has less resistance. It's easier. So our focus question is, how does resistor thickness affect resistance? We could simplify that to how does thickness affect resistance by implying that we mean resistor thickness rather than saying it directly. What must be the same between these two circuits to make this a fair test? What are our controlled variables? Pause the movie while you write a list of things which must be the same between these two circuits to make it a fair test when we are asking the question, how does thickness affect resistance? Notice that resistor thickness is not on this list. We cannot make resistor thickness the same between the two circuits and then still ask how does resistor thickness affect resistance. We have to make the treatments different in the independent variable. The independent variable cannot be controlled between the two treatments, cannot be made the same between the two treatments. So resistor thickness is not on the list. But what is on the list? The two circuits must have the same potential difference of the battery. They must have the same resistance of the bulb. The material of the resistor must be the same and the length of the resistor must be the same. The only important thing that must be different is the thickness of the wires. And I'm going to choose a 9 volt battery in both cases. In any case, I'm going to use the same battery. I'm going to use the same circuit. I'm just going to place either the single or the double resistor in the gap of the circuit. So automatically, the voltage of the battery and the resistance of the bulb are controlled. Then I'm going to use nichrome wire for the material of the resistor in both cases. And in both cases, the resistor is going to be 9 centimeters long. So have you predicted? What are we going to see? Which bulb is going to shine brighter? Which ammeter is going to give a higher reading? And what is the answer to this question? How does thickness affect resistance? Is the thicker resistor more resistant or less resistant? And why do you say what you say? Before we actually close the circuits, let's prepare a table into which we can put our data. Complete the heading and also supply headings for each of the columns in our table. Table showing the relationship between thickness and resistance. Thickness is our independent variable and we are going to measure it or rather describe it directly. So we put it as our heading in the first column. We're going to describe it as single and double. So in this case, we don't actually have a unit for that. So we don't put anything in brackets after thickness. Resistance is our deep variable. But in this particular investigation, we are not actually going to measure resistance in its unit ohms. We are going to use two indicators. Remember, we're going to use current strength and bulb brightness to tell us about resistance. And so these are the two that need to come in the table. So we add another column so that we now have two columns for the dependent variable. And into those two, we put the indicators of the dependent variable, the things which are going to tell us about resistance. Bulb brightness does not have any unit, but current strength does. And in this case, we're going to measure current strength in milliamperes. We have two thicknesses, single and and double. So now we need to actually collect this data so that we can fill these gaps in in our table. We make sure that the ammeter is turned to the scale 200 milli, which means that we're going to get our answer in milliamperes and 200 milliamperes is the maximum that we could get. If the circuit actually has a higher current strength than 200 milliamperes, we would not be able to use the scale and we'd have to push it up to 10. We place the single nichrome wire in the gap of the circuit. In so doing, we complete the circuit. You can see that the bulb is so dim that you cannot even in these conditions of light see it shining at all. The current strength fluctuates, so it's a little difficult to decide what to write down. But let's take the reading at about 119 milliamperes. Now we move the connection so that the double thickness wire completes the circuit. And immediately you can see that the bulb shines a lot brighter. 
than it did for the single wire. The current strength also goes up. Again, a lot of fluctuation. Let's round it off to 166 milliampers. So we record our data here. Single thickness, dimmer, 119 milliampers. Double thickness, brighter, 166 milliampers. What do you see? The thicker wire has a brighter bulb and a higher current strength. What does that tell you about the thicker wire? Is the thicker wire more or less resistant than the thinner wire? To help you to think through everything carefully yourself, pause the movie while you answer these questions. Circuit 1 has the thinner resistor and its bulb shines dimmer and it has the lower current strength. And from that we deduce that it's a more difficult resistor. It's got higher resistance than circuit 2. Pause the movie while you complete these statements. Circuit 2 has a thicker resistor. Its bulb shines brighter and its current strength is higher than in circuit 1. That tells us it's an easier circuit. It's got lower resistance than circuit 1. So what is our conclusion? How does thickness affect resistance? Remember, this circuit has higher resistance than that circuit. So when we make the circuit thicker, what does that do to resistance? Give your answer in this format. As the independent variable is increased, the dependent variable, what happens to it? Does it increase or does it decrease? As thickness is increased, resistance decreases. As we make the resistor thicker, it becomes easier, less resistant. How can we understand that? This circuit has a thin resistor. This circuit has a thick resistor. That corresponds to this water circuit, which has a thin pipe, and this water circuit, which has a less thin, a thicker pipe. Both of the pipes are narrower than the main circuit. Both of the pipes are resistors. But this narrow pipe is not as narrow as that narrow pipe. This narrow pipe is thicker than that narrow pipe. As a result, here the water moves easier. There's a higher current strength. An easier circuit corresponds to lower resistance. Just as in this circuit here, the current strength is greater, so the bulb shines brighter because the resistance is less. A thicker resistor makes it easier for the current to flow because it's like a thicker pipe. Whereas the narrow resistor is like this thin pipe, which makes it more difficult for the current to flow. So current strength is lower, the bulb shines dimmer, and that's because it's a more difficult circuit, there's a higher resistance. 